How do you feel? Good? good. Okay. All right. Let's do one more set then. And one more. The Center for Day Rehabilitation is a rehabilitation program for people who are recovering from a illness or an accident. Push. Typically we have primarily neurological conditions here, such as your strokes, people that have fallen, head injuries, car accidents, spinal cord injuries, um, or spinal cord surgeries. Um, anything like that, that where they're needing more than one therapy. Most rehabilitation places you will find that they do not have um, more than two disciplines. They'll have either physical therapy or occupational therapy, but lack speech therapy. Some places will have speech therapy and PT, but they won't have occupational therapy. Um, this is the place, uh, one of the places that has all three disciplines, including physical therapy, OT, and speech therapy under the same roof. Makes it very easy for patients, makes it very convenient for patients. They don't have to go from one place to another on the same day to get treatment. We like to brag about our program. We, patients come here not only for therapy, PT, OT, and speech therapies, but they also are getting services of a nurse case manager who's monitoring their medical status, who's taking blood pressures. I refer, refer people to doctors if we need to. That was really good though. You're getting there. There is a lot of encouragement from the different disciplines, uh, especially where rehab is concerned. We're always telling them, let's don't look back. Let's look at all the things that you've accomplished just from last month or last week. And a lot of times patients won't notice the improvement, but we point that out and we help them um, keep positive. This is great for your right arm as well. It catches you by surprise and um, when you see it and you experience it, one thing you can do is just hope for the best. Okay, that's good there. And while hoping, RJ Tisdale is also working harder than he ever has before. RJ was at work when it happened. He lost feeling in his arm and his leg. I told some co-workers of mine that um, I think I may have had a stroke, but being a man, you know, you don't want to believe that you had a stroke. You're invincible. One, two. RJ had indeed suffered a stroke. It put him in the hospital for two weeks, followed by two weeks of inpatient therapy, and then he came here, the Center for Day Rehab at Mary Washington Hospital. In this place, I have noticed a great deal of improvement in both my flexibility and usage of both my legs and arms. We're trying to train the patient um, as far as what is their limitations, uh, what um, they can do within their limitations, how much they can retrain their body to basically function um, either independently with their activities of daily living or use some kind of assistive devices to try and be as much uh, independent as possible. RJ's plan is to get there and hard work is just part of that plan. That's exactly what I asked for. I do not want anything half-hearted. I want them to give me everything I give back to them and that's exactly what they do. So how's RJ doing? He's doing really well. He works really hard every time he's here. RJ's progress is closely monitored here, as it is for every patient. We have a team meeting every week, uh, and then we try to make an assessment. What does a patient need more? What does a patient need less? And that way we make adjustments. I think that sets us apart from other places. We're constantly reevaluating their progress and, and, and encouraging everyone to keep working towards a final goal. Beforehand, I couldn't touch my shoulder, any of the shoulders. You're doing good. Um, walking, I'm improving slowly. I'm the one that always try to push it faster, but they always tell me that it's a slow process and I listen to what they say, but at the same time I push myself each day. You gotta give, give it everything you got, and with this place, they will help you out, meet your goals. We pride ourselves in telling everyone this is a comprehensive program. Occupational therapy, that's a very common therapy that a lot of patients don't realize the benefits to. They're always thinking about PT and wanting to walk. And definitely walking is the number one thing, but there's so much that OT can work on. It's very important we all are able to care and clean for ourselves and learn how to get our clothes on again. If you're having some imbalance problem, you might need to know how to do that safely. Even things such as how safely to get things in the kitchen. Are they aware of safety awarenesses in the kitchen or fall hazards in the home they'll go over. 
And it's not just focusing on a patient's well-being while they're here. It's what they're going to need when their work here is done. As a case manager, I help them with the community resources. It might be getting in with social services. It might be getting them back out and doing some uh, involvement with the local gyms again. It might be community center uh, activities. And certainly being in a rehab, we refer them to Department of Rehab Services for additional rehab needs. We do something called a community outing, where we take the patients back into the community, try to reintegrate the patients back in the community and try and see how much of carryover we have with the patients, how much of things we are teaching the patients, training here, is actually being practiced by the patients once they go back to the community. Everything they have taught me has carried over through my everyday life. It's a group effort in here for us to heal and to go on. I would get confused sometimes. There were certain things that I couldn't do anymore. I wasn't able to tie my shoes, put on socks. It was difficult to dress myself. When Patty Phillips first walked through the doors of the Center for Day Rehab, physical injuries and a series of many strokes left her unable to do many things for herself. I was nervous and apprehensive when I came, but when I walked through those doors, the first thing that caught my eye was the professionalism, the caring, the passion that these people had for each and every individual that they were working with. Mark. I first encountered speech therapy. Red, dark, bark. I was asked to repeat things, to work out puzzles, uh, to lift my arm, to take clothespins and a piece of paper. And at that time, I had, could barely pick up the piece of paper. And today, I'm 100% of what I can be today. From speech and occupational therapy to physical therapy, Patty received it all in one spot five days a week from a team of people to whom this is more than just a job. When someone stands behind you and emotionally helps you through, the emotional support that they gave to me, they love what they do. And to them, when some, somebody walks out, even 10% better than what they walked in because that's their ability, these people are overjoyed. It's a very happy thing to say, you know, it, it validates what we are doing, it basically motivates us to keep doing what we are doing. It's very emotional for me. I walked in here a virtual cripple and I walked out on my own two feet and I am able to do things today that I never thought I'd be able to do again and I can. When we see success like Patty, it's, it just puts it all together. It's what we do all this every day to day and this hard work comes to, together and we see a patient who does well like that and it's, it's, it's very rewarding. I trust them with my life and I did trust them with my life and today I have a life because of that.